Welcome back to Darkwood. We've woken up as... I'm going to call myself the detective because it looks like I'm wearing like a, a trench coat and a... like a trilby hat or something. <laughs> we've woken up in an unfamiliar place. We've got nothing on us. And I hear... weird slithering noises. Let's take a look around. Oh, what's this? Pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven that can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Hmm. Protective substance? Forgetting the text for a second, just looking over here at the right, look at this. <laughs> this is a... a grim science experiment. Yeah, I got a huge jar or something just full of pipes and just weird growths. And I don't know, it just looks like they took a bunch of the strange growths from outside the trees and all of that, threw it in a pot and boiled it or something. Looks like there's some sort of I don't know, maybe like electrolysis thing going on here. I see two, looks like power connections on metal rods going inside of here, hooked up to, I think that's a battery down there. Gas tank of some sort. So the vapors distribute it over the house and protect them. This is cool, it's like a uh, interactive, like, adventure part. I wasn't expecting something like this. Examine the oven, look at the weird bottle. Examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. One of our hideouts? Who is this us? So the normal inhabitants don't need this gas to protect them. Are they referring to the monsters who don't need the gas to protect them because they're the monsters? Or talking about like the general population? The ones that feared the doctor? I don't know. Right, one of our hideouts. So, it sounds like there's this group of people that are trying to survive and making hideouts and setting up these Hideouts with these vapor systems to protect them from the monsters. Let's look at the bottle. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. So in other words, don't go outside during the night. Warning, even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Okay. So I'm guessing I'm still going to want to fortify the house. An occasional one can slip through. Look inside the pot. A small, empty, cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. The accident a few days ago. I wonder if that was the interaction, the altercation with the doctor. So maybe this isn't like I thought at the end of the last episode, maybe this was going back to the beginning and the end of the game would loop around to what we saw at the beginning of the game. Maybe this is actually taking place after. I don't know, so far the timeline and exactly what's happening seems to be rather murky. Uh, Cook? Hmm? One... Dose. I can't seem to cook anything. A 
Okay, well they talked about red mushrooms looking tasty and then it gave me the option to cook, so I'm guessing I can find red mushrooms and turn that into some sort of useful thing. It looks like I've gained the ability to dodge, by the way. So I can do that for a... <laughs> can do that for the cost of stamina. Uh, what exactly happens when I run out of stamina, by the way? Let me just, like, run in a circle. Or dodge a bunch. Like, I wonder if there's a recovery period where you don't recover stamina for a little bit. No, not really. It seems to just start recovering immediately. Okay. Bear trap. Open. Gotta be careful of it. So the power's off. How the hell could you ever fall asleep in a place like this? Dear God. I would never sleep. The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. Well, let's not disarm that. I don't really have a reason to, do I? Oh. Rope, alcohol, bottle, mushroom book. The use of mushrooms in the household. Is this... Polish? Oh, Christ. <laughs> Every time I move something, it scares the hell out of me. Okay, can I open the journal now? Now I can. Okay, another round of the prologue. So me, skills, none. I'm skillless. Journal. Um, before I take a look at that, let's look at the items. Oh, right, the plastic chick that I got. Oh. Yeah, I got the plastic chick from that person before, so this is definitely after that event at the doctor's place. No keys. It's the plastic chick. So it doesn't look like I can, like, turn the page or anything. Okay. Can I turn the page here? Yes. There's a bunch of ripped out pages. I wonder if that means something. Hmm, yeah, it looks like this was actually part of the previous entry that's been ripped out. So something something into these damned um into these damned savages, everything should go smoothly. Twelfth of September, nineteen something. I don't remember anything since the attack on our camp. Somehow I'm wearing a coat, so I must have changed my clothes on my way here. I don't recognize myself anymore. I can barely hold this pencil. Has my body changed? I no longer feel hunger or thirst. What has happened to me? Key to underground number 21. I remember his face, the face of the man who saved me, then held me captive. I don't know how I managed to escape his hut and end up here. What I do know is that the insane fucker took my key. My only chance to get out of the woods. He also tore out all the pages from my journal. I doubt that he was able to learn the location of the underground passage, though. I should check if the door is still locked, just to be sure. I must find him. I don't think he still lives in the same place where he held me. It makes no difference, as I have no idea how to get back to that vile place. Day one, so that's now. Nights. I need to get back to my hideout before nightfall. Wandering here at night is too risky. The forest exhibits increased activity after dark. Only the protective gas in my hideout can provide me with relative safety. Yeah, I remember there was that key that we got when we were playing the doctor. With the number 21 on it, so that's the key to underground 21 that this person lost. Nails, rag, photo of a road. The road home. I wonder... They talk about escaping the woods. 
I wonder if the outside world is relatively normal. You know, sort of like the world of of the zone with like the stalker games or the roadside picnic book. I haven't actually read it though. I'm assuming it's the same sort of thing in the book where you have the zone where everything's everything's just completely different. You know, the rules are completely changed in the zone, but outside of the zone stuff is normal. I think that's how it was in the stalker universe and I wonder if this is similar. Like if you get outside of the woods, is everything normal? How's how's the rest of the world doing? I don't know, these dark woods seem rather infectious. I wouldn't be surprised if it just keeps spreading. Can we craft something? No. I wonder what you use a rope for. Maybe I can use that to like go down something? No weapons I can use unless I can maybe like use a bottle. It's not gonna throw it, is it? Oh damn it, it is. Okay, well I've broken glass now. Oh, that's a trap. Oh. Interesting. How would I, like, deploy that as a trap? Do I put it on my hotbar? <laughs> I thought I had the glass selected. Well. Oh yeah, so you put it in your hotbar, right click, and then it kind of shows you a preview. Okay. Well, I don't think I want to put it down like here because I'd probably step on it myself. I don't know if it would hurt me, given that I have shoes on, but it would probably make a noise. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. What the hell? Are those... Oh, are those the red mushrooms? Harvest. That's what was making that disgusting pulsating noise. Received odd looking mushroom. Cookable rots over time. Okay, so I guess you don't want to keep it too long. This repair upgrade upgrade whoa the fuck was that was that my character moving or something Christ so I can upgrade the workshop I'll be able to craft more items fit more upgrades into weapons when I upgrade my workbench so it looks like the workbench allows you to make things that you can't just make in your inventory yeah so you can just make basic stuff in your inventory. Oh, I see a little red bar here going down on the mushroom. I guess that indicates how rotted it is, or how close it is to rotting. Need boards for that. Well, I'm not going to be able to barricade anything without boards. Yeah, I can't craft a damn thing. Let's see if we can cook this mushroom. I can extract 10 essence from this. Yeah, the uh, the character I'm playing as, they talked about how they don't recognize themselves and they were wondering if their body was changing. I'm guessing either the strange gas or perhaps these mushrooms are, are changing them. Okay. So I guess I need to get it up to 50 before I can take a dose. Okay, well, I need supplies. Where's the where's the door? Oh, that's it over there. Jesus. The damn creeks. So you're not supposed to go outside when it's dark, right? And this is dark, so I shouldn't go outside, but 
I have to? I mean, I need supplies. Build a well? Need boards. Repair the well? Huh. I wonder what I'd use that for, because I said I didn't need water. I seem to not have hunger or thirst. Convert wood logs to planks. Costs fuel. Interesting. So there's like a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of crafting mechanics. Oh, I see. It doesn't just have a light. Like, kind of a general light. I don't have a flashlight, but... It has a general light wherever you aim, but it also specifically, like, looks under stuff. Like trees, wherever your cursor is. Just kind of, like, see through where you're looking. I guess I could have just walked through here, huh? Actually, I should probably, when I go back inside, I should probably put the wardrobe in front of this door. Or in front of this opening. It's rather dangerous. generator's half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. In this house? What underground entrance? Maybe it's like underneath the... Oh, it might be like underneath the bed or something. And I can move it. Well, let's turn this thing on. Much better. Turn on the generator before dark. Hiding in the shadows won't do do you any good. They're coming either way. So that makes me wonder if light is any sort of defense, or is it just simply so I can see them? Partially burnt torch, matchsticks, rag. Okay, at least I have a torch now, which I can also use as a weapon. Oh. The torch that I had before in the prologue, I noticed it wasn't burning down. I was wondering if it lasted, like, practically forever. This one, though, I think is going down much faster, so it's probably just the prologue torch that doesn't burn. I'm assuming it doesn't burn if I'm not holding it in my hand, so I guess I won't hold it in my hand. Okay, I should get inside very soon, but I think this might be some sort of a thing. Nope, I thought maybe that was like a, a bin. No, okay, let's get the hell inside. And I don't have any boards, right? I can make a bandage. Let's do that. Bandage with alcohol. Good for heavy wounds. So that's a light one. This is a heavy one. Okay. So I use a bottle of alcohol, turn it into an empty bottle. And I'm realizing that my inventory is quite small. Broken glass only stacks up to two. Let's go ahead and place this down. I'm kind of curious what would happen if I walked on it. Yeah. Okay. Has no effect on me. Whew. Yeah, don't know if it'll hurt them, but it should make a noise. Can't make anything here. So that's already barricaded. Let's cover this up. There we go. Let's 
put down some more glass. That's going to leave one window unbarricaded and untrapped, because we got two windows and... Wait, did I just use up all my glass? Oh, I thought I had another one. I could break this glass bottle, but I'll keep it just in case I needed to craft something. Let's do some cooking. Yes, let's move some stuff and see if there's an underground entrance I can find. Can I move the bed? Not this way. Maybe... Can I click it? I can't seem to do anything with it. Hmm. Curious if I could like stand on the stool. Seems like I can't. I'm pressing space, just like I would use to vault over a fence. Okay, am I missing something? Is this not the house? It's supposed to be gas in a can in the house. I don't know. Let's take a look at the map. Dry Meadow Hideout. Oh, oh yeah, the underground entrance is over here. So this is not the place. So I guess I have to go outside? I don't know. It sounded like I shouldn't leave, but... I guess I will. And if I'm gonna leave, I should probably turn the generator off, right? waste fuel. So it looks like the hideout is down. Let's go down. Makes such an ominous noise. Dog? Probably not a friendly dog. that? A bug? There's these huge deep gashes in the ground. Alright, well the bugs don't seem to attack. They seem to run away from me. At least something in this forest is scared of me. Wildlife. It looks healthy. Fallen tree. Its bark looks partially chewed up. Burned houses. Is this the place? No. It's to the right somewhere. Hmm. Heard another dog. Oh. Should I check it out? Oh, there's a tractor. I don't suppose that's the tractor I was trying to find before. <laughs> no, it's not. No way. Ah, uh, they're 
probably... They'd probably chase me, right? I have no idea what their aggro range would be. I really want to check out this tractor, though. Maybe this is the tractor. Oh. And the tire, with, with no value. I wonder if I can disassemble it for rubber or something. Is stealth a thing? Like, can I just sneak around? Wait, 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 wait. Is it getting dark? I think I should go home. It just got a hell of a lot darker. Let's go turn on the generator real quick. And I'm guessing you can sleep in the bed to pass the night. I was wondering how you could tell if it was nighttime, and I guess it's very, very obvious. Fuck me. There's some out there. Can't make anything. Let's get it. <sighs> can I make anything at all here? No. Right, well I can fill up the generator, but I think I'll wait for daytime. can't sleep. Do I just... wait? Night protection. You're in the hideout under the influence of the protective substance. It will help you survive the night. Oh shit, the torch went out. Those like fireflies? these noises. Hmm? I didn't open that door. Do I have anything I can use? Throw a bottle, turn it into glass? <laughs> I am not going outside to refill it. Shit, I did not know that it would just last that long. Like, barely any time at all. I'm just gonna wait right here in front of the oven. What's that light? Another firefly thing. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, 
Christ, that must be daybreak. <laughs> Jesus. I thought something was about to bust through. That doesn't sound good. Also, everything looks different. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize there's a person there. Wolfman. Hi. Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses. Meat. The figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost. If you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, we need to prove... You need to prove that you can do the job. I've no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I'd prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you'll find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Okay, we have a quest, I guess. Looks like we can also buy stuff, buy and sell stuff. Show item to them. <laughs> Here, take a look at this plastic chick. Beautiful item, perfect for a church fair. A photo of a road. What's that you got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts, his thick yellow spit landing on the photo. Ew. <laughs> This road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home, meat. Round here, all the roads lead to nowhere. Gossip. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, or at least not until you get a decent weapon. So kind of like tips, basically. Wouldn't venture too far from here unless you got bored of your lousy life. Only if you returned from the dense woods and those who made it back were not able to share their happy stories. Okay, so don't go too far. Avoid the night. Got it. <coughs> Excuse me. And it sounds like avoid combat, unless I have a decent weapon. <clears throat> okay. Um, Alright, so I guess there's no currency system, it's just a barter system. So, is this how many... Oh, reputation, 50 plus 0. So maybe that affects the price or something, or what items you can get? I buy weapons and ammo. Okay, so they don't buy everything. That increases my reputation? It would increase my reputation? Minus five. So that's worth 15. Six. So this number is not the value, that's just how many of the item they have. So 15, I could buy some matches. Red egg. An ordinary chicken egg, the only difference being that it's red. What the hell? It's rather expensive too. Okay. Handgun frame. Okay, so it's going to be a long road to an actual handgun, huh? Weapon parts, 450 is what it's worth. Whew. Christ. A watch. Oh, that could be useful. Tell the exact time of day so you can head home, like maybe hours before it's dark. Toolbox. Battery. I mean, I probably shouldn't sell this. Doesn't look like I can really get anything worth a damn. Nah, okay. 
No. If you wish to spend some more quality time basking in the striking yet natural beauty of my features before you head off to the silent forest, you'll find me in my camp in the dry meadow. The wolf points to a location on my map. God, breathing is so disturbing. So. Oh, so the wolf camps is, wolf's camp is nearby. Oh, and this is the Dry Meadow Hideout, so this whole place, I guess, is the Dry Meadow. So that's the underground entrance that I guess I should check, although I guess there's no particular point in going there without the key. <clears throat> there's the camp. Wait, the wolf has two camp? Two camps? Oh, that's the silent forest camp that I need to get to, only when I'm much better equipped, I guess. Okay. What's this? Time freeze? Hmm? Oh, is it frozen right now because of this encounter with the wolfman? Oh yeah, I just realized. So if you sprint into a door, it automatically opens. You don't have to click it. So I'm guessing the time freeze will stop as soon as I leave? No, I'm still frozen. Alright, let's go refill the generator. Oof, Christ. That's definitely not gonna last me through the night. Cause that's about how much I had in it before. Okay. So where should I go? To the underground entrance just to see if there's supplies around it? Burned houses, perhaps, although there's a bunch of dogs around there. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the burned houses. Okay, time freeze stopped. Okay, so that weird look is when the time is frozen. Hope the day lasts longer this time. Barely got any chance to explore anything. I saw a dog. Yeah, right there. Almost sounded like it saw me. seem to be safe. Oh, man. I have some boards and I have some nails. I might be able to make a board with nails back at the workbench at home. I seem to be dodging this dog pretty well. I can't really explore any deeper in than I've just did without the dog seeing me. So where do I go from here? Let's 
Go this way. I guess let's go to the underground entrance. Let's go right. I almost want to touch these blobs, but I feel like they'll just absorb me into their mess. Hmm? It's a person. They don't look like they're doing too well. Uh, huh? Is that a bird? Dare I get closer? That's a shrine. Oh, I didn't look at my journal for the wolf man, right? Day two, the wolf. My mind must be going. If I'm not delusional, the man whom I met had the head of a wolf. He told me he will help me get the key back. I just need to get through to the other side of the forest. I am to meet him in the western part of the silent forest. I should explore the surroundings before venturing forth. I do not wish to act too hastily. Hide out. Yep. The shrine. It's quite close to the underground entrance. I'm scared of this person. <laughs> no. What the f Fuck, that is not a normal walk. That is not human anymore. It looks like it went in the direction of the underground entrance as well. Mmm. Mmm. Is it chasing me? I'm not sure if it's chasing me or not. Or is it just going back to the... It just wants to be at the shrine. Okay. It just wants to be there. I'm just gonna give it a wide berth. What was that location? Broken tree. I thought that was a corpse. Oh, I heard a dog. Rag wire. Oh, a lot of gasoline. like they've carved something into the ground. Okay, I'm gonna go up, because I think that's where the underground entrance is. Underground entrance, yes! Well, I might as well take this, I guess. I'm assuming I can take it after I disarm it. Yes. Oh, received scrap metal. So you don't get the bear trap itself? Hmm. Is it getting dark? No, no, I think it's just kind of gray here. Oh. So if I was to get home from here, I'd just go, I guess, straight up. bad noises. It might just be mushrooms, though. I really wish I had that watch. I'm really, really scared about running out of time. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. I'm gonna put this in my hot bar, so if I have to run home in the dark, I can fill it up with more fuel fast. I 
should probably put a bandage in my hotbar too. Close. To cycle between currently selected objects, press E. Hmm? Oh, for the, like, this pile. Clothes, sack, backpack, clothes, okay. Holy crap, I didn't even see that. How did I not step on that? Lockpick. Bread. I don't need to eat, though, do I? Maybe it's just worth selling, or maybe it heals me? I feel like it's getting dark, but... I can't tell. Oh, maybe it's just raining. Backpack. Ooh. A bullet. <laughs> Yay. A bullet. Okay, now I gotta choose what to keep. Well, I think we can safely toss the tire. Pills are good. Now, how the hell am I gonna tell if it's dark? Oh, uh, what do I toss? I don't want to toss anything. Rope? Rags? Rags are cheap. Battery's worth a lot. Lockpick I'm keeping. Two torches, that can't be worth much. Or not torches, sorry. Two mat matchsticks. Clues. Another lockpick, some more rags. Okay. Oh, no room in inventory for that. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna get these mushrooms, then I'm going the hell home. Bandages with alcohol. Maybe that'll use up some space for my inventory. Yes. Okay. Entrance to the underground tunnels. Oh. I can enter the tunnels without a key? Is it safe down here? I feel like I should be here with a flashlight. I have no source of light. Yeah, fuck this. I'm going home. So is it dark or not? Or is it just rainy? That is the question. Oh, wow, that is loud. Okay. Let's go, like, straight up. Camp there, full of dogs. I think we're almost home. It, it definitely isn't dark, I would definitely know at this point. So much more peaceful inside. I think I'm going to try to craft a, a board with nails. I need some sort of a weapon. Logs? No, I just have boards, right? Yeah. So I do it here in the workbench. Yes, board with nails. A crude weapon. Good enough for me. Takes two boards and ten nails. So I could actually make two of these, which I perhaps should. 
Not that I have much storage space. Okay. Chain trap. Okay, so you get scrap from traps, but you can turn it back into traps if you want. Antidote for poison. Oh, you need... You need the mushrooms to make this. I need one, and I have slightly less than one because it's decaying, I guess. Bear trap, chain trap. Okay, so a chain trap is a worse bear trap. Takes two metal instead of three, and the bear trap I can't make without upgrading the workshop. Which takes six boards. Okay. Well, I'll make a couple of these. I mean, hell, I'll make three of these. Replace my glass with it. So I'll put stuff that I don't, like, immediately need into this workbench here. I don't know. Pills. I don't know if pills heal you. But bandages definitely do. Fucking hell, the sound work in this game is terrifying. Yeah, inventory management is definitely an important thing in this game. Oh. Look, is it getting dark? I can never tell if it's getting dark. I need to watch. Huh. Oh, can I not put it down because of the glass? Yeah, that was why. Okay, just, just to test, like, should I step into this? Okay, I just, just wanted to check. If it did hurt me, it hurt me like almost none at all. I think it just chains you, and the bear trap probably actually does damage as well, so it limits you. You can't go too far, okay. Um, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do now? Excuse? Excuse me? I, can I not disarm it? Oh. Oh, it broke. Oh. Okay, I see. Hmm. I guess I'll put it there and just try to be careful. Not to touch it. A little bit wasteful, but it's important to test how things work. I guess I'll leave that glass there and just put this here. Yeah, it looks like the day actually lasts for longer than I thought. It was just the rain that made me think it was maybe becoming nighttime. Let's cook the mushroom. Alright, I guess let's go dump a couple extra things that I hopefully won't need when I'm out in the field. And then go explore, since it's still daytime. So like, boards and nails, I don't think I'm going to need that when I'm out there. Lockpick definitely will. Not broken glass. Bandages, yes. Bread. Bleh. I mean, probably not, especially when I have bandages. That's my weapon. Okay. Well, I guess I don't need empty bottles either, huh? Okay. Should be good. Plenty of room for stuff. Oh, it's turning nighttime, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's turning nighttime. Okay. Let's go turn on the Jenny. What else can I do with that? I can barricade it. But I can't easily unbarricade it, can I? Can I even barricade it? Like, what does it take? Three boards, seven nails. Do I have that? No, I don't even have three boards. Hmm? 
God, sometimes my character makes a noise while I'm looking at the workbench and it scares the hell out of me. <sighs> I think I will actually make a second weapon, because like I really don't want to be caught without a weapon. And it's relatively cheap. Oh, cool. Also, I just realized it pulls resources from the storage here to make stuff, not just from your inventory. Okay, I'm assuming the generator uses less power when you turn off lights. So I'm going to turn those off since it's not quite actually dark yet. And let's maybe drag these into better locations, maybe more towards the center of the room. Oh, it's cool, you can see little, like, breaths of steam coming out of my character. Now that it's getting kind of foggy and cold, I guess. Alright, it's pretty dark now, let's turn that on. That was in a pretty good location, honestly. Let's actually move it a little bit over more. Actually, that's pretty much where I had it before. That allows me to see kind of into here, illuminates this room, and also shows me a little bit outside the window. Yeah, I think that makes it so I can pretty safely stay right about here. And if anything's going to be coming at me from any of these sides, I should be okay. Alright. Now, we wait. What the hell was that noise? That was not me. I'm gonna assume I'm just hearing things unless I see something. So I'm just gonna stand my ground. No. No. No, I hate it. I'm not answering the door. Is there actually something there? Fuck. It's pretty insistent. I think there is. It's stuck, it's stuck. Now's my time. So once it's triggered, you only get one scrap metal from it. Okay. That bear trap just saved my ass. Dead sap... Savage? What was that noise? That was me. Bottle and rag. Okay. Fucking knocking on the door, oh my god. I hear the music coming in. I think that means we're about to end the day. Or end the night, rather. Thank god. Reputation with Traitor, 100. So you're not the wolf, man. Well, before I talk to them, 
and start this day out. I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to begin with day three.